In this video, I'm going to cover how to make an external LED blink. So I'm going to hit stop simulation here. And then I'm going to go to my dashboard. And just make sure you're on circuits here before you click on create new circuit. And then um, immediately change the project title. I'm going to call this LED blink. And then um, I could navigate here and bring in my Arduino and start from scratch. But what I'm going to do instead is click on this drop down menu and choose Arduino underneath starters. And the preset that I want to use here is this one right here called blink. I'm going to click on this once, then click once again into my canvas here. And then when I hit start simulation, I can see that uh, my goal is already achieved here. So I'm going to hit stop. And then I'm going to click on code. And by default, in that preset, the thing that it does for this circuit is turn on the external LED for one second and turn it off for one second and loop infinitely. So if we take a look at our blocks here, we have these gray blocks, which are really important in terms of um, explaining what things do. And uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm actually going to delete those. And then once we fully understand how these blocks function, we can go back and put them uh, back in. Um, but what we should see here is something that looks very similar to lesson one. Uh, and actually, it's pretty much identical. It says set built-in LED to high, which turns on the built-in LED light on, and then on for one second, and then turns the built-in LED on the uh, board to low or off for one second. So it turns on and off this built-in LED um, infinitely over and over and over okay and so if I press start simulation again I see the exact same thing I did before so the question is why is this one turning on and off we see that this one is turning on and off and that's that makes more sense but the reason why this one is also turning on and off is because pin 13 is um, connected to this onboard or built-in LED so out of all these pins pin 13 is special in that it's connected to this so anytime I tell the built-in LED to do something, it also um, does that simultaneously with pin 13 and vice versa. If I tell uh, to do something for pin 13, it'll also do that for the built-in LED. So I'm going to hit stop. And actually, I'm going to delete all of these. And then I'm going to delete this one wire here. And um, I'm going to connect it to a different pin. So I'll click once, click again, and click again to pin 10. So now it's plugged into pin 10. So I can't use uh, uh, this built-in LED block anymore. This is only specific to this LED and pin 13. The one right beneath it, pin um, set pin 0 to high, I'm going to use this one instead. And this one is a lot more um, versatile in that I can choose a specific pin. So I'm going to choose pin 10, which is the pin that I'm connected to. And I'm going to set it to high, which means turn on. I'm going to go to the category control bring in a weight block. Then I'm going to right click on this, duplicate it, paste it, and it's already set uh, to pin 10, and this time I'm going to set it to low. And so now this turns on and off for one second each and loops infinitely, but specifically for pin 10. And that's how you can control um, a digital signal with basically any pin using um, this block right here.